Though classified as a cranial nerve, the optic nerve or the second cranial nerve is actually an extension of the forebrain. The nerve carries afferent fibers from the ganglion cells of the retina through the optic canal to cross to the opposite side in the optic chiasm. The crossed and uncrossed fibers of this portion of the visual pathway enter the cranial cavity to the geniculate bodies, superior colliculus and protectum. The modality associated with monitoring this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is the visual evoked potential or VEP. The oculomotor nerve or the third cranial nerve arises from the accessory oculomotor nucleus and oculomotor nuclei of the midbrain emerging above the puns. The nerve exits the middle cranial fossa through the superior orbital fissure to supply the ciliary and sphincter pupillae muscles. The superior branch supplies the superior rectus muscles. The inferior branch supplies the medial rectus, inferior rectus and inferior oblique muscles. The modality used to monitor this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is EMG. The trochlear nerve or the fourth cranial nerve arises from the trochlear nucleus in the back of the midbrain and emerges at the side of the puns. It exits the middle cranial fossa through the superior orbital fissure to supply the superior oblique muscle of the eye. The modality to monitor this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is EMG. The trigeminal nerve or the fifth cranial nerve has both sensory and motor fibers. The nerve divides into the ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular divisions at the trigeminal ganglion. It supplies sensation to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, skin of the face and oral and nasal mucous membranes. It supplies motor fibers to muscles of mastication, such as the mas setter and temporalis. The modality used to monitor this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is primarily EMG. The abducens nerve or the sixth cranial nerve emerges from the abducens nucleus and the pons above the pyramid. It passes through the superior orbital fissure to supply the lateral rectus muscle. The modality used to monitor this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is EMG. The facial nerve or the seventh cranial nerve emerges from the facial motor nucleus and superior salivatory nucleus of the pons and medulla. It exits the posterior cranial fossa through the internal acoustic mantus of the facial canal. The sensory fibers supply the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and the skin of the external auditory mantus. The facial nerve supplies the muscles of facial expression, as well as the orbicularis oculi and ulris. The modality used to monitor this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is EMG. The vestibulocochlear nerve or the eighth cranial nerve emerges at the junction of the pons and medulla from the vestibular ganglion and cochlear nuclei. It passes through the internal auditory matus. The sensory fibers supply the vestibule for proprioception and cochlea for hearing. Due to the close proximity of the facial nerve, it is strongly recommended that the facial nerve always be monitored along with the vestibulocochlear nerve. The modality used to monitor the eighth cranial nerve is the brainstem auditory evoked potential. The vagus nerve or the tenth cranial nerve emerges from the medulla and exits the cranium via the jugular foramen along with the glossopharyngeal nerve or the ninth cranial nerve. The motor fibers supply the palate as well as the smooth muscles of the throat. This nerve is monitored during surgeries placing it at risk using EMG. The accessory nerve or the 11th cranial nerve has two roots from which it emerges, the cranial root from the nucleus ambiguous in the medulla, the spinal root from the spinal nucleus of the upper cervical spine. The spinal root enters the cranium through the foramen magnum and exits through the jugular foramen. The motor nerve supplies the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscles. The modality used to monitor this nerve during surgeries placing it at risk is EMG. The hypoglossal nerve or the twelfth cranial nerve emerges from the hypoglossal nucleus in the medulla. The hypoglossal nerve exits the posterior cranial fossa through the hypoglossal canal. 
it supplies the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the tongue. The modality used to monitor this nerve during surgery is placing it at risk as EMG.